Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, mice and cheese. The problem states that you are given two mice and there are n different types of cheese. Each cheese should be eaten by exactly one mouse. You are given two arrays, reward one and reward two. Reward one denotes the score you will get if ith cheese is eaten by the first mouse. Similarly, reward 2 denotes the score you will get if ith cheese is eaten by the second mouse. Now, apart from reward 1 and reward 2, you are also given a k, which and you will return the maximum point that you can achieve if first mouse eats exactly k type of cheese. Right? So, first mouse is eating exactly k type of cheese, and notice that each type of cheese should be eaten by exactly one mouse. So whichever k cheese first mouse will eat, second mouse can't eat those and it will eat the remaining n minus k, right? And you will get some score out of it. You need to maximize that score, right? For example, in this case, uh, these are the reward one and reward two array and k is two. So basically we need to ensure that first mouse eat exactly two type of cheese. So one possible choice is first mouse will eat let's say first and third one so and second mouse will eat second and fourth one so if you for this particular configuration what we will get the score is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 right so total score we will get is 4 plus 5 which is 9 now you can try other possible combinations as well but the best possible uh, best possible combination here is the first mouse will eat third and the fourth type of cheese and first mouse uh, second mouse will eat first and the second type of cheese so the score in that case would be four, four, 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 4 plus 4 which is 15 so you can see by by taking any other combination of two cheese for the first mouse you will not be able to achieve any score of greater than 15 and hence 15 is the answer so if you haven't tried this problem yet yourself, this is uh, easier than usual third problem of the lead code. So I would encourage you to pause the video right away and give it a try yourself first. So these are the let's say rewards rewards array. This is the reward one. Basically, what is the score we will get if first mouse eats the ith cheese? Similarly, what is the score we will get if uh, if second mouse eats the ith cheese? Right? And k is four, which means that we need to ensure that first mouse eats exactly four types of cheese right and we need to maximize the score now we have total n cheese and we need to ensure that first mouse eats exactly k cheese so number of possible ways in which this can happen is nck right and for each of these way you can find out score so let's say uh, you figured out that first mouse will eat this one this one this one and this one right so you will figure out the score score would be 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 and then plus 2 plus 3 because the rest of the cheese will be in the second mouse so you will figure out the score for each of these nck combination and just take the maximum one so that is a correct algorithm but the complexity of this algorithm would be somewhere in the order of n to the power k right and this will not pass because n and k both are very huge. n is up to 10 to the power 5 and k is also 10 to the power 5. So this solution would not pass. Now, what does mean? It means that we need to still figure out the best choice without iterating over any or all of them, right? So here, like this, that's a clear signal, signal of we need to make some observation, right? Now, let's think about it. Will first mouse or will will you want first mouse to eat this cheese the answer is no because if first mouse eats this cheese you will be getting a score of 3 right but if first mouse doesn't eat this cheese then you will be getting a score of 5 right because otherwise second mouse will eat it and you will get a score of 5 and you can see 3 is smaller than 5 so you need to maximize the score so you would want that second mouse will eat it right so that's the basic algorithm what we are trying to uh, ensure here is that 
first mouse will only eat the cheese which which will give better results than what we would have gotten if second mouse would have eaten that cheese for example this particular cheese if first mouse will eat will get 5 and second mouse will eat will get 2 so we would want or we would like that first mouse will eat this cheese right so this is one possible choice similarly this uh, is another possible cheese which we would want the first mouse to eat and this is another possible cheese that we would want the first mouse to eat now notice that k was 4 and we have chosen only 3 now for rest of them for each of these 3 we would want ideally that second mouse will eat it but we want like as per the problem statement we have to make sure that first mouse eat exactly 4 and we have chosen 3 for first mouse now which of these th remaining 3 you will pick for the first mouse the answer is simple the answer is what whichever will give you the minimum loss so you can see if first mouse will eat it you will get 1 if second mouse will eat it we will get 2 so what is the loss the loss is 1 right similarly in this case the loss is 1 and in this case loss is 2 so which one of these you will want the first mouse to eat you will you will want any of these two cheese for the first mouse to eat you will never want this cheese to be eaten by the first mouse right uh, so that's the basic algorithm so what we will do we will just figure out the losses for each of these uh, indexes or cheese types so for the first one the loss is one right if first mouse will eat it right and for the second one again loss is minus three because if first mouse will eat it we will get three more so that's why loss is minus three similarly for third one uh, three minus six which is again minus three fourth one it is one right fifth one two and last one minus four now which of the k would you want the first mouse to eat you want to minimize the loss right so basically you will want the first mouse to eat the k the k of which which have minimum loss so let's just sort this array with the loss if you sort the array with the loss you will get something like this right so minus 4 is the smallest one so you that will come first and similarly others will follow now in this array what you want you want for the first four first mouse will eat and the remaining second mouse will eat so for the first one for the first four you will take this score right and for the second one you will take this score and finally this is your optimal answer right so hope this algorithm makes sense I would encourage you to like I'm not showing pseudo code because this is very straightforward I would encourage you to pause the video and try to code this solution yourself. Next, we're looking at the code. So, the code is straightforward. Uh, what we have done, we have just figured out this array that we have calculated. So, the first element is diff, and second one is the reward one and reward two. So, we have just figured out that the first element is a difference, and second element is a pair which contains reward one and reward two. So, we have put reward two of j minus reward one of j as the first one, and second one is a pair of reward one and reward two. After this, we sort the array. Uh, this will sort the array based on the difference, right? Because that is the first element in the pair. And after that, we'll just take the first k, uh, the score, uh, the first my score for the first k, and for the rest of them, we will take the second my score. And finally, we'll return this score as an answer, right? So hope this problem solution is clear. If you have any doubts in this problem, please post them in the comment section below. I will have to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.